Okay, okay viewers, well, I've repaired my power supply here. I've got to find out how to put the light now. Um, there it is. Yeah, it's all back together. I've touched up some dry joints. Now, I've already warning, I did have it unplugged, and it was unplugged for a while. And I just played with the power button, just intermittently turning it on and off, make sure all the power dissipated. And it sat for a couple of days on, stand, on the standby. So it dissipated all the power out of that before I even touched it. That's just a safety thing, so you don't, you know, the capacitors don't, um, well, they stay charged and give you a nasty surprise. So yeah, I touched up all the dry joints I could find. And yeah. When you look for dry joints, obviously look where it's been hot first. Check underneath the like, transistors, something with stuff like heat sinks or check the um, components that are likely to get hot. Then move under the bigger, bulkier components because they're most likely to have dry joints. Now this, as I said, is the main board's okay. Nothing's dry under there. It's all pretty good. And this, yeah, this is the back taken off. Here's our projection guns. That one there must be the red. That one's a green. That one's a blue. You can't really tell which one's a blue when it's turned off. And there's infrared receiver for your remote control, which is why you um yeah, you point to the remote control anywhere at the screen and it works, because it hits a mirror, it comes off and that can pick it up from anywhere. Here's a heavy duty mirror, it's a four millimeter thick glass mirror with a heavy duty aluminium frame and heavy duty plastic holders on. And here's a date, eight to the fourth, two thousand and two. 712 when it was probably the exact time and date when it was made. For something made in China, that's a pretty thick glass mirror and heavy, like it's built like a window of a house. It's pretty, very well made. Unlike the LGs I've um, fixed and thrown out, they were just a piece of tin foil with a bit of styrene behind them, and that's it. Yeah, this is a double sided mirror, that's why I've got my reflection on this side as well and on this side. So, yeah, pretty handy. I shine a light through it, you can just see it. So yeah, it's pretty handy to have a little double sided mirror actually. I never knew such existed. But yeah, there you go. Now I'll, I'll turn it on and I'll show you how to connect the set-up box. This is a HD TV, ready TV. It's got, yeah, I'll show you how to hook up the um, the uh, component and all that sort of stuff. So first of all, I'll turn it on. Yeah, you hear a click, like a little relay click, and it'll turn on. Alright, it's on standby. I press the program button. Here we go. Hit a click, off standby. That's the power supply buzzing, but cheap ass things always do that. There's no light, the camera can pick up any arcing, so that's good. Alright, now we can just see from through the mirror. Yeah. Like a traffic light effect, that's pretty cool. And that's on static at the moment. Yeah, you can see the convergence around the corner here is not perfect. The middle is alright, the middle is good, but the sides aren't. So I put it on AV, AV1, AV2. Not that input, but it's on this one. Let's try and find, there we go. You can see it's all bent up, sort of twisted a bit there in the corner. That has to be adjusted. But yeah. Now, we'll need sound. That's the sound for your component. This is just picture, this input. So I'll put this in. Put a light down so I can get more uh, free hands. First of all, I'll plug the, yeah, the bottom half in. Yeah, you actually screen protect because there's nothing to display. So we don't burn phosphorus. Red and blue. That's your picture, and these two here, uh, red and white ones are your sound. So we'll grab these ones, plug these in. Go got the red. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you get that, you get that sort of thing when you put it in. There you go, it's all done. Get that out of the way. That will go here. Oh, let me have a look. There we go. Let's try and hold the camera, uh, hold the set the box while I'm doing this. We should have a picture now, if I, when I kind of set the box on that is. Yeah, I've got a bad angle with the camera, but yeah. Basically you use the SD 
audio for audio and there's your old picture. So yeah, that's all plugged in. That we don't need because it's loop out for, for when you're using analog TV at the same time, but that's useless. Optical, it's got coaxial, it's got S video, has HDMI out, has that that's usually used for upgrading set the box firmware, which I don't know why the set the box only lasts you a couple of years anyway. IR receiver, you can hide the box in a discrete location and have your IR sensor I don't know, behind here or something. Pretty interesting. Now I'll turn the box on. It's loading up. Oh, I put some HD, yeah, I got a picture on your feel, I got a bad connection somewhere. Alright, let's put, let's see, what about our new channels? Let's try what's on our new channel. Let's try Gem. Yeah, another repeat of our oven cooking. Yeah, I got a bit of um, interference in the picture. I probably got a bad connection somewhere. But yeah, let's have a look at the picture behind here. Maybe 250, block one. There you go. See, I get effectively blocking one thing. Pretty interesting when you look at a projection TV working. You see the refreshment right there. Yeah, these things here you can hang on. I get a lot, I'll show you what you might what I mean. These little wing nuts, you can actually turn them and zoom in and out and that adjusts your focus of each individual lens, which you don't really have to touch. I hold the light behind here, and the picture's brighter again. Hold that. Yeah. When I got it, the dust that was in here, these are just fogged. I could not get a clear picture from these until I took the back off and seen how much crap was coated all over these. Just on nicotine dust and, yeah, it's horrible. It's good now though. Okay, I'll get the remote. There's the remote. I think it's got batteries in it. Yep. There you go, yeah. It looks better on HD with a picture like that. This picture works better on HD. Try and do a convergence. And some chocolate. But yeah, I've got a bad some connection somewhere. The biscuits. picture's got that play up in it. Cream. Looks like I could do some more and searching for crack joints. It might be a tiny, tiny one that I can't see. A convergence. Vid's okay, we'll try number four. That one's a tiny bit out, but it's okay. Now we'll now says to save it. The call, which is there. Save that. Start from number one. Yeah, it's not perfect, but. Yeah. Can't get the convergence spot on perfect in the corners, but. Probably a bad capacitor somehow I can't see, but. Should have been able to find that. Yeah. I adjust it and it stays right for a couple of days when the TV's turned off, it'll lose it, so... That probably could be the STKs going bad or something. Which is no surprise, which they always do on reprojections. Alright, number 7. Oh, there's a tiny bit out. I'm trying to get the camera on here at the same time while I'm doing this. Basically the green, the green X is stationary, that stays, that's your control. Then you move the red X and the, and the blue X, spot on to that, and that's how you adjust it. So yeah, when I press red it's yellow, when I press blue it's white, because the green and the two colours make another. Oh, that one's okay. Very cool. Now to get out of this, I think it's um, Nikam button on here, which is, um, I can't find it on here, it's on here somewhere, I know it is. Nikam is exit. Yeah, that button there, it doesn't say it, but it's a bit better. Yeah, it's a bit better than what it was. Let's try another cha uh, channel here. Oh, let's try changing channel. Seven mate, we got lost again. Yeah. 
I got pitch interference, probably because I got a bad connection somewhere. But sorry, tapping something. Yeah, it's inside. I gotta do some more searching for dry joints. Bits of interference on the screen, but yeah. Sure, that's not hard to fix. But yeah, there's your firmware and all that sort of stuff, chips and stuff hidden in there. So here you have I'll say it's a connection in here somewhere. So where the picture goes in, along here somewhere, we've probably got a bad connection, which is why the picture's got that interference, but yeah. And there's a picture from behind, with the American Today Show being broadcast on 7 mate. Yeah, there it is in the blue. Green and red. But yeah, now that the TV is warmed up, I can smell the nicotine coming off it. I turn the light off, you can see the... You can't see through the mirror because it filters out the picture. Well, like I said, there's something going on in there. Yeah, I think the mineral oil probably has to be changed in this TV's um, in there, so... Yeah, you can see there's crap in there. Probably got to get the mineral oil out and change them, which is a big job. Being a TV's just a little... Two days and twist, I'll probably be eight, gone on nine years old now. So, yeah. The cheesy thing that goes on. But the picture's not too bad considering. Let's see what else I've got. Yeah. But either way, future proof, digital, HDTV ready. So, yeah. The picture's not perfect, but. It's okay at the moment, but once I um yeah I reckon it could be a mineral oil problem while the converters is all like that. But yeah, that's a big job changing all that oil and getting everything back together. That's for sure. So yeah. Basically, this is all a different setup in here. I know the LGs is only a tiny circuit board in the next, and that's it. This is more advanced how it works. And that board's where your sensors from the screen plug in and go in there, back to the brains, and do your smart focus adjustments, which I'll show you how to do. As it says, smart focus is a feature. I'm trying to press the button and hold it down. It does this little adjustment thing, here we go, it'll adjust each colour, okay, lines of sensors up. Yeah, it never does these ones here perfect, so it must be something wrong with a green drive area. There you go, that's a bit better, it's not perfect, but it gets close. That's the best it's been actually. It's blue, and I'll keep doing this sensor alignment of all those corners. And then the picture will go back on. Yeah, you saw the TVs at auto convergence and smart focus on the projectors that have sensors here for this type of thing. There you go, it's doing its little thing. So we've got the bottom going on the top. You basically, you see where the sensor is, where that line is. Alright, I'll just take a while and it should come back on. Yeah, it's still not that perfect, but I'd say it's a mineral oil popping for sure, why it's pictures like that. And these just come off of Velcro. Not bad speakers for a TV like this. Nice space and everything on them. But yeah, behind here you've got your high voltage adjustments, which you don't touch. Unless you want to destroy the tubes and put an extra radiation and kill yourself. Oh, I'll just put this back on off camera. 